Clifford the Big Red Dog is a movie we never asked for. It's the movie we needed to save cinema. Welcome movie watchers. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about Clifford the Big Red Dog. When Emily Elizabeth meets a magical animal rescuer who gives her a little red puppy she never anticipated waking up to find a giant 10 foot hound in her small New York City apartment. With her single mother away on business, Emily and her fun but impulsive uncle set out on an adventure that takes a bite out of the Big Apple. I remember watching Clifford the Big Red Dog animated series when I was younger. I read the books occasionally to my first grade students. I'm aware of Clifford. Clifford is quite adorable. Uh, I never thought we would get a Clifford live action movie though. Um, not that we needed it, but here we are, 2021, anything happens. This movie was okay. I thought it was enjoyable for a family fun film. It doesn't really feel like anything different than we've seen before when it comes to the formula, the heart, everything, when it comes to some classic animated series being adapted to live action like Alvin and the Chipmunks or Garfield. It all kind of feels very the same, the same kind of structure. You have a villainous plot in there and there's heart and it's a lot of fun. Darby Camp plays Emily Elizabeth and uh, she is someone that's you know being targeted at school as she's being bullied, but they never really kind of go deep into that, but we understand that she has a hard time at school and she has fun with her uncle and she meets this dog that will be her best friend. She has really good chemistry with this dog. It's not a real dog. It might be this random thing that we saw on the internet some time ago, but whatever it was, uh, I think she had pretty good chemistry. You definitely felt that friendship between Clifford and Emily within the movie. And that was what I was hoping for. Reading the books and watching the animated series, there was always a solid relationship between Emily and Clifford. You always felt like they were really good friends. They understood each other. And I was happy that that translated nicely into this movie. So I didn't have any problems with the characters or Clifford the Big Red Dog. I loved seeing them two together. And even this fun uncle, who's not really reliable, but has to step up and he wants to become a responsible adult. And he's played by Jack Whitehall. And uh, I think there's a nice progression for his character realizing, you know, I can be responsible, but have fun as well. You got that nice balance and it works within this movie. And Emily and her uncle, they have that really nice relationship. They're not too aware of each other, um, but they learn to appreciate each other throughout the film. We have this side story with Tony Hale's character, like the villain of this research company that wants to study Clifford. Uh, it didn't feel like that was really necessary. After I watched him, I thought, what kind of story would work for Clifford? Because it's just Clifford and uh, she want to, and she wants to protect her dog. What kind of other story would we honestly have? So while I think that it's a story that fully didn't work, I think it was appropriate to have, not that it was my favorite part of the film, just I don't think it worked fully within here. I think they spent a little too much time on this side story with Tony Hell and this research company uh, rather than, you know, adding in for some fun moments of Clifford running through New York City and people riding him and just having those lighthearted moments. They definitely were there and they did work, but this side story of this villain, uh, I just thought was something that I really didn't care much for. And that's when it feels predictable, it feels used, and it feels like it came out of other movies before. I think they could have done something a little bit different with that story. But I still think that Clifford the Big Red Dog is an enjoyable film for a family. Uh, there is uh, some comedic moments. We have a brief appearance by Kenan Thompson. We also have John Cleese in the film, a pretty solid cast within this movie. A there is some jokes that adults will understand and kids uh, it might just go over the top of their head. They may be confused with everything, um, but I think there's a nice balance. Uh, I think kids will enjoy a lot of the fun, exciting moments of Clifford running through the city, uh, chasing a big ball, just being a dog. And I think they will really enjoy that. But at its core, it does have heart. 
it does have those fun moments between Emily and Clifford understanding each other, her trying to protect him, having the neighbors in New York City that work at different shops on the street get involved too. It's fun to see everybody kind of unite to care for Clifford and understand Clifford. In the animated series and the books, everybody is aware that Clifford's this really massive dog that just is roaming the city. So I like that they translated that into this movie that, hey, we're not all scared of Clifford. We, you know, we love it. It's a cute dog. He's roaming through the city and let's just accept it. So overall, Clifford the Big Red Dog, I wasn't really too excited for. I looked off. I understand that like they're trying to make him look like a real dog. The puppy version looked bad. It looked like just a normal sized dog that was shrunk down. It didn't look like a puppy. It looked like just a tiny dog, not a puppy. If that makes sense to anybody. But uh, uh, I understand that they're trying to make it look like a dog, but the cartoon version is just so, you know, different. Um, so, I don't know. I think it was a fun film. My daughter did enjoy watching it. I enjoyed watching it with her. Will I ever watch it again? Probably not, unless I show it to my students. Um, but it's an enjoyable film. It feels familiar, it feels used. The plot could have been just tweaked a little bit. Um, and the performances were pretty good too. So overall, not a bad film. Just a forgettable movie that uh, we've seen before. So before I give you my score for Clifford the Big Red Dog, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and give Clifford the Big Red Dog a C plus. Thank you guys for checking my review for Clifford the Big Red Dog. It is on Paramount Plus. It's also in theater, so check it out wherever you want to. Make sure to stick around for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.